I have no idea what I'm doing with this, but I'm doing it anyway, I'm here. I wanted to record something on my own um, without being in a studio, just trying to crash course, if you will, learning some recording software and crash course kind of playing on the instruments myself. I wanted to prove that I could do it, um, and it was fun. I. I really love playing all the instruments because I kind of know my own groove. I also wanted to do something kind of lo-fi where it wasn't like a big commitment to an expensive studio. And uh, feel free to experiment on my own time um, without having a huge studio bill at the end of it all. It was a rewarding experience doing it this way. Yeah, I played all the instruments. Um, actually, drums is is my uh, my first instrument. Well, voice is really my first instrument. But uh, I started getting into guitar when I was, you know, like ten or something like that. And but it wasn't really serious. Um, and then I, 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 uh, I got into middle school and I was probably about 11 or 12 years old and I started, uh, started taking, you know, rudimental snare drum and then playing in the different bands like cadet bands and concert bands and eventually moving up to string ensembles, uh, or that was for playing bass, but, uh, yeah, I studied drums in middle school and in high school and by the time I got to high school, I started getting more into guitar, so uh, drums kind of took like a back seat. And then, you know, throughout my 20s and early 30s, I really didn't play much at all. And it wasn't until like a few years ago, actually, that I started playing drums a little bit more and uh, something I, I really enjoy. And then the other thing on this particular track on Settle Down, uh, it needed a lift in the bridge so it's kind of like looking around see what I had I don't have a lot but uh, someone had given me an accordion and uh, two people actually for some reason gave me accordions so I was like that's it I'm gonna I'm gonna use this accordion I'm gonna force it <laughs> and uh, so I put some accordion on the bridge and that's uh, that's how it happened Settle Down was written in, in two parts, kind of. Um, I remember being on a, on a train ride on the Metro North uh, back home from, from New York City one night and thinking this boxcar is taking forever. So it's kind of where like that line came from, this boxcar takes forever. And uh, I had it kind of like tucked away and you know, I had the music kind of tucked away, and a few months later, I was in Milwaukee, and uh, I was in this hotel room for a couple of days, and not in a great neighborhood. There wasn't much around, so it just kind of got to writing, and I was thinking about being away from home, and then the idea of settling down of with a significant other. Um, kind of just happened naturally, you know, being away from from love, from your love. And uh, at the same time, you know, I had this song called New York City Bound a while ago, and uh, a friend had asked me to write a song about New Haven specifically. And uh, so Settle Down was kind of an homage to New Haven. Um, it was prompted by a, a 
talking about a place to live that you call home, that you want to settle down into. The other thing I wanted to accomplish with, with the Settle Down was uh, I'd seen a couple different people play and they were making use of a, a finger picking style, which I didn't, haven't really done too much of. So I, I wanted specifically to write a song with that and you know, I had the melody idea, the guitar part came up and um, I wanted to try to tap into a little bit of a, of a two-step kind of folk, country-ish, Americana kind of song, uh, which is a big departure for me because I'm actually a really big rock and, and metal fan and that's, that's kind of like what I listen mostly to, kind of strange. But, uh, so yeah, I wanted to experiment and do a little bit uh, different, something different on, on guitar that I haven't done before necessarily. The number of songs I wanted to do for this East Rock project, I, I when I started it, it was it was actually late 2015 when I started brainstorming the idea, but then I didn't really get to you know start start working on it until uh, you know early 2016 I think, um, and I had this crazy idea that I was going to do one song per month and uh, it would leave me 12 songs at the end of the year. But some things happened in 2016. Number one, I got married. Um, I also left my day job. But then the other thing was, even though I'm recording out of home, it's got some limitations. I remember the, the neighbors were doing like construction work during the day and I couldn't really bang on drums or turn up amplifiers really loud at night, you know. So long story short, you know, and it's probably a good thing that I didn't force too many songs out because I'm not, uh, I don't believe in that necessarily. Mm -hmm. But I think I got a good five solid songs out of the course of 2016. And, uh, you know, a lot of the time it was actually learning curves, you know, just learning how to, where and, and where to place microphones and or, or amplifiers or drums or, you know, what was the sweet spot in the room. You can't really see this room, but, you know, it's got some, some good spots. So, uh, you know, there's only so many hours in a day. Uh, recording from home definitely has a lo-fi quality to it. I know, you know, some people, uh, they have great home studios with great gear and I, I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm just still kind of learning. I don't have anything really fancy. I'm just trying to make do with, with what I have. Um, one of my big selling points on this particular project was that I did everything with no more than two microphones at a time because that's the only interface I had at the time. I've, I've upgraded a little bit, but, but it was a challenge, and it made me, uh, you know, find the right spots for microphones and instruments and all that. And uh, it does just inherently lend a little bit of a, of a lo-fi kind of, kind of quality to it. And I don't mind, I mean, honestly, I, I'm never gonna be on <laughs> FM radio or anything like that. And if I do, that's pretty cool, but uh, I just, it's really about the song. You know, did I do a good job articulating the song, that I put all the right parts together, are they audible, are they clear, and uh, you know, for someone with very, very limited studio experience, at least behind the board, um, actually doing recording engineering, I mean, I'm not going to toot my own horn, I think I did okay, and you know, there's, there's a lot to learn, and um, you know, and that in itself is, is almost like a new instrument, and I like it, I dig it, and if it came out a little lo-fi, like I said, it's cool as long as the song comes across, because in the end of the day, it's all about the song, at least for me.